hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video it's going to be a bit different because i'm not going to be renovating the furniture but rather i am going to be trying out a brand new spray gun from hi chica and um I'm super, super, super chuffed about this uh, new spray gun because I've been lucky enough to have been gifted from uh, well, with this with this spray gun from Hi Chica, and I'm just super chuffed about it because I really wanted to have a different um, spray gun as well because my other one is starting to give up a bit. So I'm just really happy about it. As you can see, it's still in its package. I haven't opened it. I was saving it for this video. And so um, I'm not going to say anything more. I'm going to talk a lot in this video and I'm going to be talking probably on the voiceover as well. So um, yeah, without further delay, let's see how this works. Right, so I've got my tools and let's just unpack this spray gun. So the main features of this paint sprayer is that it's got a 600 watt motor, a 1200 milliliter container which is huge, free spray patterns and altogether four spray nozzles. The other thing is that it's really unique I think with this spray gun is that it's got three different spray patterns as I said before. So it's got a vertical, it's got a horizontal and it's got a circular which I don't think I've ever seen it before. Let's see what's in the box. We've got the instructions. Yes, and we have got the three um, nozzles as well. And it's got a little brush. I'll just show it to you guys. We've got a little brush as well, which will help to keep the nozzles clean. And it's got a little metal wire which again is for the for the nozzle and then it's got these three different nozzles which as I see the middle of them the actual hole of them is gradually getting bigger so I guess that also just helps with the flow of the paint which um, my vanilla definitely doesn't have that, so um, I'm curious how much it's going to help. And as I see, Molly is curious as well. Are you? No? Okay, you're not joining me. <laughs> right. And it's gone. This little, I don't know what's it called, but I know what it's for. It's for pouring the paint. So, okay, that can help. Yeah, Molly is joining me. Great. And it's got the actual spray gun and the container. Yes, this is a big container. So here is the 1200 milliliters of the container. It's big. And I thought my other one was big from Wagner but I don't know how much you can tell guys but this is way bigger this says 28 um, ounces oh it's 800 mil so the Wagner is at 800 mil and the high chica is at 1200 mil um, this is not an actual paid promotion obviously I've been sponsored by high chica for trying their new tool um, but I'm just genuinely curious um, what's the difference between them because they are really similar in price this is comes at a really great price as well um, so a little bit about Hi Chica they they really aim to provide a quality and really affordable DIY tools so they've got drills as well they've got senders they've got um, I think I was looking at their um, uh, they've got like a mini sew as well or like a, a mini circular sew and um, they were all at really really great prices so um, I'm just genuinely curious because I don't like to spend a lot of money and with DIY tools you can spend a lot of money 
and if you can get you know proper items for a really affordable price then it's great I would just love to use their yeah, their products and so far like feel wise this feels the same so it doesn't feel like it's like a really cheap plastic it's a proper solid plastic all around I always go by how a product feels because it says a lot so so far I mean the only difference is obviously the size of their container but it's pretty much the same in quality as well um, so yeah let's let's carry on with the unboxing I said I told you guys I'm talking a lot <laughs> and here is the base unit for it I guess I don't know how you would call this um, but yeah this is a fairly solid piece as well so you just go ahead and that's it okay that was really simple you literally just slide it on it clicks and it's done it is heavy must say I think it's heavier than the Wagner uh, yeah but um, so far it feels good I mean obviously that's the only downside for these type of spray guns the ones that doesn't have like the extra comp compressor on the side is that this part is always going to be a bit heavy um, but as long as you're not doing like large projects or you know you can also just support the, the weight of it with your other hand um, it's perfect for small DIYs I would even say it's perfect for bigger DIYs I think it's great I haven't got a problem with the other one either uh, with it being too heavy because they work so fast that um, basically by the time your hand gets tired you're you know you're you're pretty much done with the project so it's not like you're spending hours using it they're crazy fast I was able to um, spray paint a pair of bedside tables in literally five minutes and I wasn't even rushing it so it's just amazing um, so yeah this is how it looks once it's all set up and all put together let's see yeah that's it from the box I will just need to check the user menu which I'm usually I'm not doing it but I will show it to you in a minute guys um, it's got different kinds of settings I guess I would say it, it's, it changes the flow and it also got this kind of rotation alright so it's really useful actually so again I will show it to you guys close up in a minute so if you're turning the nozzle to the left then you are changing it from a vertical position to a horizontal position if you're turning it halfway then you are going to be spraying in a circular way and or a circular pattern and if you are turning it upwards to the original position, then you are changing it from the horizontal to a vertical spray pattern. So this is great for me because at least I, I know how it's going to be spraying. So I'm already really happy about that. Now let's look at the user manual. Right, so I had a quick look at the user manual and um, it's very brief to be fair these spray guns are fairly straightforward anyways but a few of the questions um, and interesting things that i didn't know was so with this nozzle here or here you are controlling the flow of the paint and with this oops with this um, nozzle here you are controlling the width of the spray so if you want to detach the spray part from the body then there is this button that you have to press and it should just slide off yep obviously it's not that easy but it does slide off this is a little bit of grease this white stuff in there it's a little bit of grease I guess it helps with sliding um, and yeah you just slide it back in until it clicks easy as that so for the final part of this test, I am just going to be testing how loud each of these machines are. 
again they are really similar in price range so I'm just curious which one is better why is it better why is it not better so yeah let's just turn them on as they are I'm not going to put anything into their containers I will just turn them on as they are and then we will just listen to how they sound Okay, so now that the sound test is also done, I think we have come to the end of this comparison slash review of the Haichika paint sprayer and also of the Wagner and entry level paint guns. And um, honestly, it's nothing to do to rivalize between these two brands. They are both amazing, really great products. I was just simply curious um, if any of them are better than the other one or um, if there is any feature that I prefer on one of the machines rather than on the other. Um, as I said, the size of the container is a, a big difference because um, this is one and a half times bigger, the container size of this, than the Wagner. Um, it, this one is louder because it's got a stronger um, motor in it, but um, I haven't used them as in I haven't sprayed anything with with uh, this one yet so I can't tell what difference that makes um, but otherwise I, I actually love them both and I will use both of them still so um, honestly both spray guns are amazing um, I would say that if you want to have more a precise control over your paint and if you want to use your spray gun for like larger projects um, I would recommend using the High Chica one. They're pretty much at the same price as well. I just checked on Amazon. The Wagner, it's I think it's $41.99 and the this one is $43.32 or something like that. On their website it's only £36, but I assume that you wanted to pay for the delivery. So um, as I said, it's pretty much the same price. Um, again, I love them both. I will use both still but um, I'll probably use this one for now because this is a new one I want to experiment with it but if you're curious how it performs when you are spraying with it check out my next video because in the next video I am going to be spraying a couple of bedside tables and this one is gonna come really handy for that so um, yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope it helped you to decide which one you would want to buy and also just to give you an idea of what an entry-level spray gun can do so um, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because it helps my channel hugely thank you again and I'll see you in a couple of weeks